Okay, so today we're out on the Torrance course here at St Andrews Fairmont. This is going to be interesting. It's supposed to be the tougher course. This is the first tee shot. Got par four straight down here. 358. But just look at this view. You've got clubhouse, sea views. You've got St Andrews, the town, just down the, down the beach. It looks absolutely amazing. So let's see how I can do. So here we are on the first hole. Par four, not super long. I've just got a five iron in my hands, aiming slightly down the right side of the fairway. It looks like you don't really want to go too far left. And it wasn't an amazing strike, but right half of kind of center of the fairway is good enough on this hole. It left me about a seven iron in. I probably could have taken a little bit more club off the tee, but not having played the course before, didn't really know where I was going. I did pull the seven iron a little bit left, didn't really realize this uh, kind of um, little ditch thing was here. And I actually did reasonably well just to get it out and up on the green, give myself a chance at par. And this was a pretty special putt here. Nice to get up and down for par on the first hole. So here, second hole, three wood. I'm trying just to hit a little stinger, just get it running. It's quite a long par four, but the fairways being a Lynx course were pretty firm. Again, it's pretty long hole, so hitting hybrid in for my second shot. And hit a pretty good shot, just finished like just short left in this little, just little area here and hit a really, really, really nice little pitch there. Just a little kick in for my par, literally. And onto the third hole, long par five, hit driver smashed a pretty good tee shot to be fair this is a good look at the hole water all down the right side absolutely beautiful hole didn't leave me much for my second i think i was hitting a seven iron again hit a really good shot this time just a baby fade to kind of left half of the green left myself about i think this was about 20 foot or so to have a good look for an eagle hit a really good putt to this looked like it was tracking all the way and just ended up falling slightly right of the hole but another tap in this time for birdie i'll take that this hole number four is a short par four i hit a really good tee shot actually not the best strike but just up the right side of the green just short right of the green it was a pretty difficult bunk shot. You can see one thing I like to do in bunkers when I'm practicing is take a few practice swings hitting the same spot and it definitely worked this time. I hit a really, really good bunk shot to about three feet, tapped it in for par. Hole number five, here's a good slow motion look at my swing at the time. It's a bit narrow, but it definitely worked this round. I've been working on a few things since then. It's a short little par three. I was hitting an eight iron, hit a really good shot to about five feet or so didn't hit a bad putt i just misread it slightly just didn't fall right now onto the fifth uh, sixth hole par five didn't hit a good tee shot at all but was just kind of straight just didn't strike it well and a hybrid in for my second shot and it was a good shot you can see a good look at this hole is protected by bunkers up the right i just left it short of the green little pitch off a tight light i actually struck it too well very clean and kind of checked up came out really soft uh, left myself a good chance for a birdie but i hit a good putt just didn't have the line on that one this hole i absolutely love this hole it's a short par four i hit a pretty good tee shot two under at this point with a short par four and this for eagle I was feeling pretty confident. I misread this putt so badly. It was such a bad putt. But another tap in birdie, can't complain. Onto this short par three. It was only about 140 yards, this eighth hole. And stood on it three under, feeling pretty confident, hitting my irons well. Stiffed it to about four feet or so. I was really looking to make this one after I'd missed a few putts and hadn't hit many good putts the last few holes. So, this was definitely a confidence booster, 
just to get that one to fall in the left side there. So four under coming down the ninth hole, just a straight par four, about 350 yards or so. And I just hit an absolute bullet straight down there. Low running drive, literally left it just short of the green. Quite an awkward pitch. I decided to play this with a little seven iron, bump it up there. The pin was right on the back. So you don't really want to go long as you see it falls off the back there. I hit not a very good putt again, wasn't good at all, but tap in for par. Four under through nine holes, I can't complain about that. It was a really fun nine holes. We did go on to play 18, I did some other filming on the back nine. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's an absolutely stunning golf course. And make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel, and as always guys, grip it and rip it.